Oh my gosh, if y'all would quit griping. I almost did not say griping. Did you say almost say griping? I almost said one. No, I didn't. All right, so we're going to plug in three. So, well, we're going to try to find if it's continuous at three. So, or where it would be continuous at three. We're going to make it continuous. Here we are. So, we know that K times the square root of X plus 1. Oh, ah, sorry. Yeah. We should say that H of 3 is K times the square root of 3 plus 1, which is 2K. We just don't know what it's supposed to equal. Why are we saying 2K? Two 2K. Two uh, square root of 4. It's 2. It's 2. Why is K? Oh, okay. <laughs> then the limit as X approaches, 3 from the left is the top one again. So that's 2K. Has to equal the limit as X approaches. Three from the right, which is m times three plus two, because x is three. So in order for those two, for it to be continuous, two k has to equals three m plus two. Well, well, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it alone for now. Oh yay! Now let's go on to differentiability. To do differentiability, we've got to find the derivative of each one of those and know that k is a constant. So we don't mess. You don't have to do the product rule now. So that is k times x plus 1 to the 1 half. Yep, one half k times x plus one to the negative one half. Do you have to do the negative one half? Well, you can, but it isn't going to okay, change. Okay, But yes, it wasn't one. It is one. M. And the next one would be m. Yep. Oh, that's. Can we solve for m? M and m. M. Okay, so then <laughs> the limit as x approaches 3 from the left of h prime of x is k over 2 times square root of 4. So it's k over 4. Oh, good boy. Save by the bell. Make sure you work on the other homework. Please hold the kids in the classroom at this time. Hold the kids in the classroom. We're going to keep going. Screw by the bell. Army, turn off your computer. Mute. I already packed up. Me too. So, so sorry. Limit x approaches 3 from the right. Is just M. They're not continuous. <laughs> we have to make them continuous. So K over 4 equals M. 4M equals K. Okay. And then you plug and plug it in. Yeah, and I have this equation over here, and I can replace the K with 4M. So 8M is equal to 3M plus 2. What the heck? So 2 times 4m. Oh. 4 I get what's happening now. I thought maybe you found your phone again. <laughs> yeah, where is my phone? M is 2 fifths. Oh, there it is. Then you plug Oh, my gosh. Then I got to plug it in for K. Yeah. <laughs> this is how it's supposed to work. Apparently, it is. 
So <laughs> you said M was two fifths? Yes. So then K is four times that, so it's eight fifths. Can you do math, actually? No! <laughs> Bless you! Then the limit, as x approaches 1 from the left, is the same thing. It's 3a plus 2b plus 1. The limit, as x approaches 1 from the right, is a minus 4b minus So those two things have to be equal. What will? Where did all those other numbers go? We plug oh. one in for x. Oh. oh, that's helpful. It is helpful, especially that it's one. All righty. To do differentiability, up here, I'm going to go ahead and find f prime of x. I made it simpler today, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Well, is it correct simpler? Sure. Well, yeah, that was a good question. So when I do the derivative, I get 6a. Wait. I got Hebrew toe not to call the bell. That is correct. I was excited. Everyone was. <laughs> 6ax plus 2b. I'm missing Mr. Noah Shaw for this. Everybody is. <laughs> oh. It's okay. I didn't want to go to my other Of class. all days to wear my mask with the, where you can see my face. I think we could have told you were saying. You probably said. I, so. I didn't want to go to one of the classes. I'm missing eight for this. <laughs> I'd rather be in here. I don't know, is it worse than Ashley telling you she muted? Probably not. <laughs> That's my highlight of this class. <laughs> then I had to explain to my mom what you meant by that. Oh! <laughs> She's like, that would be a good reason why you're failing. Why not you feel pretty? You are mom. so not failing. My mom thinks that too. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. Did I say something to her about that? No, because I sent her like the screenshot of the email or whatever. Oh. And she's like, what do you mean you muted her? Oh! Like, I was you just ran really yourself funny. out. I'm so sorry. I was like, gosh, I wouldn't have said anything to her about that. I think she has my email. Differentiability. I forgot to so the limit as x approaches 1 from the left would be the top one. So that's 6a plus 2b. The limit as x approaches 1 from the right of f prime of x is 4a minus 8b minus 6. Very good. 6a plus 2b is equal to. Eight. None of these are so No, so what I'm going to have to do is get the A and the B all on one side together. So then you get 10A. So if I subtract 4A, 
and add a b. You get 2a plus 10b equals negative 3. That's what you said, right? Yeah. Say that again. What's negative? No? Okay. Then the other equation from up here, this one, I'd move things around. How'd I do what? Move things around? Hold on, mute this one. No, I'm about to. I'm going to subtract the A and add the 4B and subtract 1. So 2A plus 6B equals negative 3. Negative 4. I got it right. Yeah, but wouldn't it be easier to get negative 3 negative 4? Well, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and multiply through by negative 1. So that the two A's will cancel. Okay. Oh, you're saying those two equal to each other? I'm gonna put one right on top of the other. I'm gonna add them. Why? Because yeah. that's that's um. That's what you do. Solving by not substitution. Subtraction. It's called addition and elimination. Oh my! What is happening? I thought so I have two equations and two unknowns. Yeah. So one way to solve that is to get the two variables to where they'll cancel out. We don't know why we're still in our classroom. Do you know? No, we're in the A room. It's really special. Oh, okay. Oh my god. So minus two A minus ten B equals a positive three. All I did was multiply everything through by negative one. So the two A's will cancel. As so long as I multiply the whole thing across, I'm not changing anything. Right. I'm waiting. Hang on, wait. Okay. So you get negative 4B <laughs> equals negative 1. So yes, B is 1 fourth. And A, uh, which equation do you want to plug it into? The, the smallest one. Top one. 2A plus 6B. Okay. Plus so 2A plus 6 times 1 fourth equals negative 4. So 2A plus 3 halves, yes, it is 6 fourths, oh. equals negative 4. Subtract one and a half. You get two a equals negative, negative yeah. nine over two. Sure, let's go with that. Mm -hmm. Divide by two. Multiply no, by two. no. It's like eleven. It's 11 yeah, like eight, eight plus three. Yeah, eleven over. Divide by two. So it's eleven. So A is negative 11 fourths. Wait. Yes, we did, which is 3 over 2. So negative 4 is negative 8 over 2. I was thinking you're still in the Oh! So now you're good to do this homework. Yay. We're done. Well, I thought it was so funny that we got stuck in here and you're continuing to teach. What am I supposed to do? Sit here and look at you? Yes. 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 Put our stuff up. We sit here. Not a bad idea. We weren't supposed to be in class. Hey, Miss King. Yeah, hey. No problem. We're supposed to bring back to you in check. What? That problem I was supposed to do is to bring back to you today in check it. I lost it. You lost it? Yeah. Oh. I don't remember what it was anyway. So.